So at the very beginning, first look, no convo. Someone that you may be that you are like, oh, they attractive. What's the prejudice off the bat if something if it's something that you view on this person? Where does a red flag come in? <laughs> if the shoes aren't right. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. That's why I laugh. I knew it. Good morning from your favorite internet Stay uncle. Ready. You don't have to get ready. Get established. Let's go. <laughs> Shoes not right. Yeah. Fingers dirty. Ooh. Ah. Bad breath. Bad teeth. Oh, halitosis. Ah. No haircut. Ooh. Ah. Mm. Haircut game. Just be a bad hair mom. day. Mom jeans. Uh, what ooh, are mom ooh, jeans? Ooh, ooh. ooh mm. ladies. The relaxed jeans from like the 90s. Like they're kind of making them come back, but y'all shouldn't wear them though. That's kind of leave that for us to kind of dress up and make it look good. Y'all can't do that. What? Oh word. I didn't know that. The <laughs> collar of the shirt, if that if their t-shirt is like stretched out around the neck. Yeah. The worst. Yeah. Uh oh, look, look, that's right. Check, check. The Gotta collar. check it. Gotta check it. <laughs> check it. Uh, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's, Ronnie, it's, hard. it's tough room here. Mm-hmm. Ronnie, yeah. what say ye? Um, so this is like just looks, right? Just this first impression. off the bat before mm-hmm. you first say first any words. First impression. You see somebody you're like, ah, oh, you know, they kind of attractive, but your Im- your immediate prejudice that comes up. If they're not put together, I guess. You know I mean, what I mean? What it's is- like I don't really nitpick. I just. Mm-hmm. If I see something is off, or if I've, it's more of a vibe, or how I feel. It's, it's more energy than anything. It's not like That's anything good. particular that I look for. It's like it, it's energy. If something's off, I feel it, and I don't play with it. I just red flag. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> hey, can, can I throw something in? I want to ask the ladies a question. Go for it. Sure. <clears throat> Do you think that uh, y'all are more critical at the first uh, the first meet than the men are? No, I don't think so. You we, seriously? Seriously, we give men, even though we said all of these things, the mm-hmm. shirt, the the shoes, all of that. But like Ronnie was saying, it ultimately it is a vibe. Mm-hmm. Like from from right off the bat, ultimately it is a vibe. Even if there's certain things about a man, the shoes, the nails, all of that, you know how we do. We'll mm-hmm. say, you know what, we can work with that. We, yeah. we can work with it. We'll, we'll, we'll just, you know, maybe we we'll go shopping together, you know, something like that. I don't think we're super critical. We, we look at the totality of a man, um, whether or not um, if he, what his goals are like how he's talking, like the first impression is, okay, he looks all right. Um, maybe that's something we can work with, things like that. But it, I guess the telltale sign is when they talk about what they're doing, what their goals are. If they're a little slow to speak about their goals and what they're doing with their lives, um, I guess for an older woman, somewhere between you know 35, 45, 50, we're looking for a man that's doing something and we don't have to jump start. We don't have to get the starter kit out. Ooh, help him along the way. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, you know what? I just started something. Something that's a definite red flag for me is like a high pitch chick type voice. Like, hey, how you doing? Hey. You know, like, uh, that that is a red flag. That's a red flag. You know what? That's a red flag. High pitch voice. That's a, that's a great point too because that's that's a red flag uh, from the male side too. I don't want no chick that's sounding got a deeper voice than me. Oh, I thought she was gonna say sounding naggy. So can I can I that's share a story that, with y'all yeah. all real quick? Okay. Hmm. Um, yeah. I remember when I was quite younger before I got married. Um, I thought it would be exciting to date someone just as tall as I am. How tall are you? I'm six three. Okay. Um, I met a young lady that was six one, oh. and um, you know, we dated for a little bit, and you know, 
it was it was all good. And I remember her inviting me to this wedding. And I went to the wedding. We went to New York to the wedding. And mm-hmm. she put on these uh three inch heels. And I oh, asked yeah. her, I said, uh, are you wearing those? She was like, Absolutely. I said, Okay. All right. So we got to the wedding and everything was good because we were sitting down. And I remember <laughs> <laughs> I remember she wanted me to meet her cousin. Her cousin was about six five. So she called me over. I met her cousin, and it was going well until she put her arm on my shoulder. <laughs> now I had she leaned on my shoulder with her elbow. I never had that happen. And, oh, and, and the look. <laughs> The look that her cousin gave me, like, hey, little fella, what's I going know, on? Little, little man, what's up, little man? Little guy, little guy. So, so at that point, I was like, yeah, this this might not work. Wow. <laughs> that, that you could have, yeah, that's something that could have been adjusted. Yeah, um, it was a lot of other things that I can't discuss on the show that took place. If, I know. as far as the height but uh but look you mm-hmm. saw when he started talking about that story he started looking towards the door i, I don't know I, is it a door to to your right <laughs> <laughs> like what, one time when i was dating <laughs> yeah <laughs> that uh that encompasses some other things mm. what let me tell you what i hear what you hear i hear um from his story there was some masculinity uh, involved <laughs> from that from that female persuasion. Yes, if she going to lean, women don't do that. Like not ladies. Ladies don't lean on dude's shoulders like that. Well, you know what, ladies man. Ladies grip your grip your waist. So is That's, she so is she gay now? I'm not nah, saying she's nah, gay. Nah, 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 she's, she's not. She's not. Extra. She's not. She not. She was a she was a ball player though. So, you know, um Okay. But well, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Then we, we, we they weren't playing basketball. Mm-hmm. He was on a date. <laughs> well, that's he what she's him up. up. That is what right. he was He's comfortable to doing that. And most women aren't tall enough to lean on their significant other's shoulder. So she is, and she's probably used to doing that with like her, um, you know, basketball players and people on her team. So it's probably just a natural habit for her to do that. And maybe it was just your own insecurity. Maybe. No, 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 no. You know, what a, you know what a man told me one time? Listen. I won't say it. Go because ahead. if there was You're insecurity, I would have never went out with her. It, was, it wasn't that. It's just was that, that the first if, time it, she wore heels with you? Yeah, it was. It was. Mm. So, I mean, you know, it just meant I was a lot younger. And, uh, Oopsie. yeah, I was in my 20s. And, you know. But what are some red flags for y'all? Whoa, okay. I mean, that's a lot. It's a few things. I think oh, for me, look. I think for me, um, after meeting a woman, oh, you saying for the first look? Yeah, the same look. question y'all gave Oh, oh, oh you know what? Mm-hmm. I just, and this is just me, I just like a woman that, that is, is, is particular about the way she looks. And what I mean by that is if you have sandals on your feet, uh look nice and they're not like your toes over the front of the sandals or you your your feet are ashy that's like a turn off for me um so you're a feet guy well i'm a feet leg uh well, gluteus maximum guy <laughs> uh, <laughs> i know what he said women should glisten yeah <laughs> now we gotta glisten ladies we gotta glisten well you know right. i mean you know we can we get the a pass if if we got a little ash or something, you know. Well, what about like, so? What about but, their feet, ladies? What about their? I was feet? gonna say, do you guys take care of your feet? You have these requirements for us, but what about y'all? We don't want to get in the bed and get cut up by y'all's rough feet. I agree. Right. I like. I, I'm gonna tell you something. I, I I get my um my 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 pedicures. I okay. like my I like my feet to feel good because I'm on my feet a lot. So I want my feet to feel good and I want them to remain mm-hmm. intact when I get old. I know what old people's feet look like and I want mine to kind of try to maintain mm-hmm. some type of And we don't want your back to be ashy either. You know, like guys knocking over. Maybe I should, uh-huh. yeah, you know, your, your back ashy. Like, you know, look, 
Okay. Well, I, that's why we, we need y'all to put lotion on our back. I mean, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> the date with your own lotion on your back. Oh, Let me tell you this. If I got lotion on my back on a date, that means it was another chick that was putting lotion on my back. So you might okay, want to no think problem. about that. No problem. <laughs> All right. Well, me and from initial is uh, a loud, um, just over the top type of uh you know voice when she talks like you know she she just kind of like oh yeah um i guess i because i'm the and you gonna know it and everybody gonna know it and if you ain't yeah they going if you ain't gonna they're gonna recognize it then i'm gonna let you know and just being over the top with it that's just ultimate turn off of me that's initially arrogant there you go arrogant over you know, the there's confidence. a thin line between arrogance and confidence. confidence. I agree. Yeah, I mean, it, it, there's a yeah, there's a different there's a, there, there's different levels to it, but just you know, just over the top, just being You're talking about way the loud too. Hmm? You talking about the loud chick? Yeah. Okay. Just being over the top. But you could be over the top without being. I, I'm, I'm but I'm saying uh, to the party, you know. So you you, like you know the difference baby? between you know the difference with somebody being loud and just okay well I, I have a I'm being a, I have a commanding presence but just being oh I'm just I don't care how anybody think about how I am I'm just gonna be me I'm just gonna be loud I'm just gonna just blare so out whatever saying, and be and just be over the top. Try not to say ghetto. ghetto. You see, you tried not to say ghetto. He was trying. Now nah, you see I, that's what she's saying. I, oh, I wasn't trying to go. say ghetto, but. So he doesn't like a ghetto chick. We know everyone has their personal buzzword triggers. Uh, what is the trigger that pushes your button? Something that makes you say, F this, I'm out. Mm. Ooh, that's a good one. F this, I'm out. You mean out, out, of, out of the relationship or? Out of the relationship, out of the building, get out of my car or I'm getting out of yours. I have had it. Relationship or dating? Like. Dating. Oh, okay. Like. We can start with dating then we can go to relationship. That's a little further up the road, but we can, we yeah. can do that. Uh, like if they always have excuses. Mm -hmm. Like excuses. Like every time, or you know, every time you meet up, it's just like excuses. Just excuses, like a lot of excuses. It's just like, okay, you're you not. You mean ready. for 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 not, you know, doing something or, you know, time, you know, um, not not coming on time and and issues like of, of that nature. I guess just excuses, just just like, yeah, like they okay, yeah, or like if they initiate. What do guys mean by that? Like if they initiate a date, right, mm -hmm. and then something comes up. And then maybe the next time y'all go out, but then next time something comes up. I, we don't like that. Oh, we just say goodbye. Yeah. We just say goodbye. Mm -hmm. Well, goodbye. let me let me ask you this, because that will be based on in the early part of the relationship. Because you know, in the early parts of, of relationships, as you're building, that's when you're trying to show your best and be your best. So mm -hmm. if you haven't established enough then it may feel like an excuse, although it may be legitimate. Gotta, <laughs> you gotta, see that face? I gotta stand for the men like y'all stood for the you women. Y'all holding hands. No? I'm just, if, if they never have a one-night stand, like if they, like, like- I was gonna go, ask, go ahead. Go like ahead. if they go out on a date and they just be like, really particular with the menu like oh you gonna get that or if if money is if it appears to be like money is an issue then for me that's another red flag like it's like at this age why did you even ask to go out on a date if you knew your if you knew that your funds like you knew i have exactly 150 dollars and 31 cents for this date and da 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 you you ordering that you ordering this is just like Go ahead. I'm going to pay for mine. You pay for yours. And this is the last thing. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you said that. I got to ask this question. So in this new world, because I I know we come from the guys that I'm with, our generation. 
I'm gonna speak for them at this moment. They can change it. But I believe we come from a world where if we going out, we pay, we drive, we, we, we old school, we, the old, old school. school way. It's old school <laughs> now, which is sad, but it's old school. But I, I hear now the, 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 the young kids, Dutch is like so common. Because they go out so often. It's expensive. I but mean, also I, I their that. version of going out is different. You know, they'll think going to a bar every Friday is a date. I don't want to go to a bar for a date, prefer because I don't drink. Right. So that's not a mm-hmm. date for me. Um, and I just think at our ages, we want to be courted properly. Like I want to be courted. Um, I'm too old for foolishness. I expect certain things. Open the door. You know, pull my chair out. Mm-hmm. I'm old, it, old school, quote unquote. So the dating world was trash, and so. When me and my boo came together, he was about that old school life. And I appreciate that because I shouldn't have to tell a grown man to open the door for me. I shouldn't have to ask a grown man to do certain things that just should naturally come. And so meeting someone that knows what you expect and then exceed those expectations, that's what we're after. We're two, we're not 21. We're not- Put that red flag down. <laughs> no, I, 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 put the, I put the red flag up because if you remember in the beginning, Big said put the red flag up when you said you want to ask a question. So, oh, I thought you were for me. Oh, I had yeah. you back. I, I had have a you back here. I, I have you a question. For, I, ha- I wanted you to finish and I didn't want to interrupt. So I okay, well, that, that's basically it. So yeah, I think it's the expectation of what being dated properly looks like now. And I just think the generation under us, the generation beneath us does not know what that looks like. And I'm not sure whether it's because we didn't model it well for them or where the disconnect happened. I think maybe you know, television and social media really plays a big role in that. But I mm-hmm. I don't have time for that. That's a big red flag. Like, you will get no more of my time. You'll get zero attention from me. I will cut you off and act like you never existed. Mm. Throw that Woo! flag. Uh, Throw that no, flag. No, 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 no and the, doubt. And that's, that's really good. <laughs> that's good. What'd you say? And no love lost. You see, her red flag was a heart. No. Yeah, right. <laughs> I wish you the best. I Listen, go yeah. in peace. Just don't come back over here bothering me, you know? Right, right. That's so really good. Hey, thanks again for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this week's episode, please check out some of our previous that may be here, 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 or here. I'm not real sure. But anyway, please get the, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification. It'll let you know when we drop any other content. Until next week, peace. <laughs>